Hello, everybody. Thursday, June 11th. I got a lot of stuff today. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video because it's like such a mix of things. I've got a couple autos and mostly what I got in was just raw stuff from Sport Lots. And I still wanted to cover that because I know I've promised you a video on how to use Sport Lots and I will be making that. What I need to do before I do that is to get a microphone I can plug into my computer so I can narrate. Uh, I did find this one here. I did find this one here. And I tried to do some recording with it. And uh, this is the Disney. What's scaring you here? The people are going to think less of you as a man? It's from some... <laughs> like Wii game that my daughter had from like 10 years ago and I thought this would work and I plugged it in and it was just really crackly and ended up being garbage so as soon as I get a USB microphone the channel is going to change a lot because I can do uh, share my screen and do narration and stuff and I'll be able to do just a lot more so uh, I got three um, kind of packages in from different sport lot sellers, and they serve kind of different purposes. So this first grouping here are set hits for my 1997 Bowman's Best International Refractor Preview, which is the easily the longest name set I've ever collected. But there's a Raphael Palmero for that, even with his sleeve on, still... You can see the shine on those. There's Bernie Williams of the American League New York team. And one of my favorite guys, Jose Cruz Jr. Looks very cool. I have about another 10 in my Com C uh, in not inventory, but waiting to be shipped to me, whatever it's called. And I have a big card coming in tomorrow for this set. And that leaves me with one big card I need and like two minor, minor cards. So once I get all those, I'll show off the whole set. But it might be even weeks or months, depending on when I deliver my Com C order. So those three cards I got for eight forty-five. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, next, I got a small lot of some vintage stuff. Uh, these were. $1.70 delivered, and these were just to go with uh, other cards that I had to send out, and I didn't want to send out just one because the players are good signers. So there's an Al Roboski, a lot of us has sent to the Mad Hungarian before, Ed Crosby, Jack Fisher, I have a 64 waiting to go out, and I'll send that out with it, and Rich Hitton on a 76 Tops. Um, I paused because it sounded like I said Hinton. Hinton. Excuse me. I didn't even know I had an accent here all these years. So a little under two bucks delivered for some vintage there. Pretty hard to beat that. So next and last of the unsigned stuff. One more Sport Lots package. Boom. The This is a lot of... I don't even know how many cards. Let me check my invoice here, my packing slip. This is 65 cards that I got for $16.70. So, would you be able to do that anywhere else and get these exact cards for that price delivered? Um, not really. <laughs> And that's why I like Sport Lots, but again, it's so hard to use, and I know how to use it because I've been using it long enough. Uh, I am going to make that video. Uh, it'd be nice to do it, maybe set a goal for myself before the end of July or something. But so these are mostly just cards that, just like the last smaller lot, where I either have something else I want to send to them, like I have another Mitterwald already here but I wanted to send more than one card. So then I got the 70, I got the 78. And same with Bernie Carbo, Carbo and so on and so forth. 
On some of these, um, I don't have cards already, but I wanted to get Ted Giannoulis, so I got a chicken card, and that was the only one this seller had in inventory. Others like Drayback um, are for the Stadium Club project. So you're going to see a lot of Stadium Club in here because, you know, basically I'm trying to just get all Stadium Clubs that I can. So we'll stick those up and just kind of go through these. Um, I think I made a mistake and ordered like double the Bryn Smiths that I needed. So here we have a nice run of 92. Uh, David Segui has a lot of Stadium Club cards, and I think I got most of them. I might actually send his in two batches just because it would be so many otherwise. So there's a Pena I mentioned I was waiting for yesterday, and I have three or four other cards I need for sets that I like, and he's $3 a pop. So I'll be saving up a little bit for that. Bill Swift, Mark Eichhorn. Some, here we go with our West Chamberlain section. Mark Clark, Doug Drabeck. Another Bill Swift, see, Ricky Bonus, not Bones. For you younger people, more David Segui. See, here's some Brian Harveys. Uh, there's a Greg Gagne with a gust appearance from a Hall of Famer. More Bill Swift. Former Mariner traded for Kevin Mitchell, who was then, of course, very bad. And Bill Swift went on to uh, lead the league in strikeouts and play second in the Cy Young a couple years later. Not that I'm bitter. More Brian Harvey. Again, I accidentally doubled up on Brian Harvey. Steve Cook. More David Seguiz. Like I said, a lot of David Seguiz. Bill Swift. Just because those guys were in like most all of these sets. Swift is even in the 95 set twice because of the traded card. There he is on a 96. Again, Ricky Bonus. Seguiz, Clark, Gagne. And then there's some football in here too. Let's check out the other package here. Because uh, obviously I'm getting into that more, if you've, I'm sure you've noticed. And I found um, some action packed, which I really like, of guys that sign. So I got those. You'll see those in a minute. Rich Becker, more Sagi. Sagi, Sagi. Here we go with some basketball as well as football. Blue Edwards. So I have two or three other Blue Edwards that are going to go out with this. And that's going to look great. That's a nice card. I don't know who the Hawk is, number 10. Trying to block him. He's getting fouled. Check it out. Foul. Blue Edwards. I thought that was a cool card with the Grizzly swipe. Ozzy Newsome. Bill Brooks. I think most of these guys are, are free. Joe Nash. Great Seahawk. Ozzy Newsome. Another Bill Brooks action packed. Uh, Christina Koye and Barry Word. They have signings coming up. And back when I was super, super, super into football, I really liked the Chiefs. And both of these two were, you know, they were my favorite kind of one-two punch um, just to watch, just to root for and watch. And I really liked the Chiefs back in the day. Sammy Smith. So I need to save up for the signings because I think they're in late July. Uh, one's in late July, maybe one's early August, something like that. But I want to say like uh, don't quote me. I figured they're pretty reasonable. So I figured I'd get the cards. Then if I if I can do it financially, I'll be able to. Here's some more of these action-packed. Marv Cook. Rick Meyer. Uh, these cards are really nice. They're kind of like um, portrait cards, Pro Set Platinum. Another Bill Brooks. And then there's a couple Steve Bonos in here. Another Rick Meyer. And that's action pack. I don't think I've ever actually seen that uh, that action pack set in person before. It's got, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it's got like a starburst kind of effect here. Um, more Steve Bonos. I thought this was a really cool card. It's a common. But that would look really great with some ink there. Nicely framed in the in the frame. So that's that. Wow. Okay. We got some autographs, believe it or not. I'm going to have uh, spend most of the rest of my day sorting this stuff and blending in with it the cards that I already have for these guys and trying to figure out a schedule for when I can send them out. 
But here we go with our autographs. We have we do have a TTM from New York. And this I got for two fifty off of Facebook. Jack Sigma, uh course Sonic Great, Hall of Famer, twenty nineteen, index card for two fifty. Um, doesn't TTM or anything, so I figured that was a great, great pickup. So Mid Island, New York, uh, one card. Okay, Bill Pulsifer. Hopefully it's signed. It is signed nicely. His little acronym here is Torch. So Bill Pulsifer at one point was part of the. Met in the mid '90s, the Mets had three pitchers that they thought were going to revolutionize the team: uh, Isringhausen, Paul Wilson, and Bill Pulsifer. Uh, Isringhausen had a great career. Uh, Paul Wilson had a so-so career, and Pulsifer. I don't even know if we could say that, but I'm really grateful that he signed for me. So that's the '95 emotion. I've been saying I wanted to show off what I have for that. I want to wait till I get to about 40 cards. I'm getting pretty close just to have a decent uh, showcase for that. So I'll get there and you'll get to see what I have. But uh, thanks for hanging with me and uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun sorting through all this.